hey viewers welcome to another video tutorial of this youtube channel in today's lesson we shall be considering question number four under the topic of functions coming from the 2024 EZ examination for general certificate of education ordinary level additional mathematics paper one so this is our main concern in today's lesson so let's try to check where the question is located in the paper so it is question number four falling under functions it is question number four so here is the question that we're interested in in today's uh, lesson so it is question number four this is our question so the question has three parts it has part a part b and part c the, uh, and then the question reads the functions f and g are defined by f of x is equal to 6 over x minus 3 and then you have to take note that x is not equal to 3 and g of x is equal to 5 over 4 and x is not equal to 0 so the question states find a f inverse of x and then part b f g of x and then c the value of x for which g of x is equal to f of x so each part of the question is carrying two marks so that is how it is so as we're getting into the solving make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel because this channel is there for you there are, it has many interesting lessons so if you subscribe you will be able to notice if any video tutorial is uploaded on this youtube channel so if you want to get notified make sure you turn on the notification button so that you're notified when each and every video tutorial is uploaded on this youtube channel and don't forget to comment to hear out your views and also don't forget to to like and to share so that others can enjoy the tutorials of additional mathematics so Let's now try to get into the solving. Let's try to get into the solving. So this is the solving that we get. Uh, we're getting into. So we are starting with part A. So part A states find the inverse of x. The inverse of x. So now we are given that f of x is equal to six over x minus 3 how do we find the f of a uh, the f inverse of x now so f or uh, f inverse of x can be found by using this concept so we are going to maintain the x we are going to maintain x like that so it will be x is equal to 6 over and then where there is y uh, where there is x we're going to replace x with the letter y so it will be y minus 3 so now our main job is to make y the subject we have to make y the subject now how do we make y the subject we're going to cross multiply so it will be x will be multiplied by y minus 3 so we're going to write x open brackets y minus 3 close brackets and that is equal to when you multiply 6 multiplied by 1 it will give you the value of 6 so it will be like that so our main job is to uh, to multiply to expand those so x multiplied by y it will give you x y and then x multiplied by negative 3 it will give you negative 3 x like that and that is equal to 6 so remember our main concern is making y the subject so is making uh, our main concern is making y the subject so we are going to uh, to find the additive inverse of negative 3x we're going to uh, to uh, to make the 3x go to the right hand side of the equation and it will be 6 is equal to uh it will be xy is equal to 6 plus 
3x so the negative will change to positive and then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by x so after dividing both sides of the equation by x the y has remained alone so y is equal to 6 plus 3x over x like that so we now have to replace where there is y we're going to replace f inverse of x like that and that is equal to 6 plus 3x over x so you have to say therefore f inverse of x is equal to 6 plus 3x over x like that so this is how you're supposed to score marks in an exam room this is how you earn marks in an exam room so we are done with part a let's now go to the next part of this question which is part b so part b states fg of x fg of x now we are going to identify we're given that f of x is equal to 6 over x minus 3 and then g of x we are given that it is 5 over x so that is how it is so now what is uh, the next thing that we are supposed to do we are going to replace wherever there is x in the f of x we are going to replace with 5 over x so we have to replace where there is x with 5 over x so in such a case what you have to do is that you have to replace where there is uh, x in a given function like the f there the first function it is f meaning that whether uh, wherever there is x uh, in the f function you are going to replace with that which the g equals so g of x equals to 5 over x so that is how it will be so in such a case it will be f g of x is equal to 6 and then we say that wherever there is x we have to replace with 5 over x like that then uh, you have to say negative 3 so it will be 6 over open brackets 5 over x close brackets minus 3 so that over sign and uh, that over it represents division it is representing division so it will be 6 divided by 5 over x minus 3 and then the 3 it is the same as writing 3 over 1 so 6 divided by open bracket so you have to find the common denominator in such a case it is x and uh, you have to multiply x and 1 so it will be x and then we have 1 so we are going to divide x divide by x it will give uh, the value of 1 so we're going to multiply 1 by 5 so 1 multiplied by 5 like that and then the minus will maintain since we're subtracting the fractions and then 1 divided by x it is the same as uh, it will give you the value uh, it will give you x so it will be x multiplied by 3 like that so this is how it is so 6 divided by and then after you do the simplification it will be 5 minus 3x and then over x like that and then uh, according to the rules of uh, division if you are dividing if you are dividing fractions the part on the right hand side the numerator and the denominator have to swap so in such a case the x will go up and the and the 5 minus 3x will come down the denominator and the numerator swaps so that is how it is so now you have to do a uh, further calculations and simplification so we're going to multiply 6 multiplied by x it will give you the value of 6x and then 
uh, the denominator it will maintain like that it will be 5 minus 3x so you have to say therefore fg of x is equal to 6x over 5 minus 3x so this is how you're supposed to answer in an exam room this is how you aim max in an exam room so make sure you score such max so now let's now go to the next part of this question so the next part of this question states find the value of x for which g of x is equal to f of x so that is our part c let's now get into the solving for part c so part c it states g of x is equal to f of x so what we have to do is that we are given in the statement that g of x is equal to 5 over x what about f of x so f of, uh, f of x is equal to 6 over x minus 3 like that so we're going to replace where there is g of x with 5 over x and where uh, where there is f of x we are going to replace with 6 over x minus 3 so now we now have to do the cross multiplication remember our main objective is to find the value of x so we're going to say f uh, we're going to say 5 mod multiplied by x minus 3 so it will be 5 open brackets x minus 3 and that is equal to 6 open brackets x close brackets like that so we're going to say fx after doing the calculations and then 5 multiplied by negative 3 it will give you the value of negative 15 and then that is equal to 6x like that and then you have to say uh, you have to collect the like terms in such a case we have x so we have 5x and uh, 6x so these are the like terms because they are uh, they have the same variable which is x and uh, the uh, the one which has no variable will go to the right hand side it will be positive 15 so after doing the calculations on the left hand side we are going to have negative a uh, negative x and that is equal to 15 so remember our main objective is to make x the subject so it should mean uh, it should not be negative so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by negative so therefore when you divide 15 divide by negative it will give us the value of negative 15 because positive divided by negative it is negative so in such a case you have to say therefore x is equal to negative 15 so this is how you're supposed to score max in an exam room this is how you're supposed to score max in an exam room i hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to share so that others enjoy the tutorials of additional mathematics and also don't forget to comment so that your views can be heard. Thank you for watching. See you to another video tutorial.